times almost. Hey there. Good enough. Hey. I'm a busy. I'm. Like this. Hello, Ron here. Is this about a job? If so, I'm interested. I think we can make this work, but I don't know you. I will need some extra assurance in case our working relationship uh, isn't a smooth one. Glad to be part of a team again. By the way, why not hire Raven as well? She gets ornery if she's alone in the house for too long. Might hunt the whole country to extinction by the time I'm back. We're moving. Arrived at the location. This task will not be a problem for me, and I will be honored to do it. Well, that's done. Ready and available. Can do. What's on your mind? We hear you, Chief. I guess we're going. Hello there. Live wire here. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Monsieur, I can't make it grow back. The bullet has destroyed the scrotum. Get some magic hub or make a ritual. Do something! I told you, Noel. Don't put your gun in your pants. You got the wolf. Get ready. They're here. Me to hide? I completely brought the wrong outfit. I think I can do this one from behind. Sometimes it's more fun when you have to try to be quiet. Better to go unnoticed, yeah? I will try to become hard to see. nearby, I'd be exposing myself for nothing.
okay. Quiet. You want me to hide? I completely brought the wrong outfit. They cannot hit what they cannot see. Shut them up and I'll knock them down. I will try to become hard to see. If you need me, I'll just be here. What? They'll never see me. Which is kind of a shame, frankly. Wolf is on the prowl. Wolf is on the prowl. Moving quietly. This sneaky shit ain't my style. This is always the best way to do things. Let's move out! This sneaky shit ain't my style. Pay attention. This is how it's done, Commando style. You would not scare us! They'll never see me. Hopefully, I can do this quick and clean. Pay attention. This is how it's done, Commando style. Sucks. He's best in view. Yo. Ain't my strong suit. I think there are still some of them around, yeah? Quiet. We move with certainty. Moving. We have enemy. They'll never see me. Which is kind of a shame, frankly. You want me to hide? Completely brought the wrong outfit. Of course. down here you want something let us see what the Lord in his wisdom has given us we're on it chief the spirit said you would come it is well you did so before those legion thugs put a bullet in me their bodies will return to mother earth and the worms shall be pleased their souls will cross over and gain wisdom. They did not die. They merely lost their bodies. 
now their spirits will join the soul of this world and aim for completion. Those bandits were repeatedly coming here and forcing me to heal them for free. The shaman can never refuse to help, but these spirits have sent you to deliver me from them. Yes, he who heals the spirit must be able to bring relief to the body as well. Even a body corrupted by the soul of a petty bandit. I commune with spirits to help guide people to health and wisdom. I do not require much as payment, but right now I cannot devote much time to it. My own family is suffering from this strange illness and my reputation as a healer is at stake. If I can't cure my own family, what will my people think? They will lose faith in my abilities, perhaps even in these spirits themselves. They need such faith in these miserable times. It was brought here by a patient from a nearby village who came to me in the night. I have been spared the disease, but my family, the spirits have seen fit to punish my pride in my healing abilities by making them too sick for me to cure. It is well you know something of healing. It gives me hope. Yes, I allow no one but myself to see or care for them in my tent. There is a way. If you could find and bring me some metaviron, a compound made from the sap of the fallow tree, that will surely do. But it is a rare commodity. I heard they sell it at the flea market, but I surely couldn't afford it. Oh, if you are a capable doctor yourself, please cure my family. Their lives are more important than my reputation as a healer. He came to me with his young and beautiful fiancée and asked me to commune with the spirits so they may receive a blessing for their marriage. I would gladly do that, since such things please the spirits. I bet they are enormously pleased. But they told me she ran away from the brothel of Maman Lilian and Panta Gruel. The camp is in enough trouble as it is without making her displeased. Oh, why didn't you start with that? Smiley wanted a blessing from the spirits for marriage. But when I learned that the girl had escaped from La Lise Rouge, I told them the spirits were busy. Come back another day. But they said they could not wait another day. So I said, if they were in such a rush to get married, they should go to Flea Town. May the spirits guide you. With certainty. Is this human blood? This is just pig blood, preserved with secret herbs. Let's get moving. Can do. Well, look who it is, the mercenaries that got us kicked out of Annie. Here to cause more trouble for us. Our lives are ruined and it's all your fault. Um, but darling... Don't you darling me, Herman. It's all your fault as well. Yes, dear. No, thanks. We don't need any propaganda pan... Oh, whoa. What is this? Herman! Why are you looking at those filthy pictures? You have no shame, you pig. Uh, uh, darling, I was not looking at the pictures. I was interested in this uh, nice pair of, um, political articles. Give me that! There was a man in Fleet Town who promised us tickets to Arulko. Accommodations and a job opportunity included. He requested upfront payment and my gullible husband couldn't wait to agree. But, honey, it was your idea. 
You should have checked him out. I closed the deal because I assumed you verified he was legitimate. I should have known the only thing you were paying attention to were the girls at the dock. You told me to watch the luggage. I won't listen to your excuses. Now we are stuck here with no money and no tickets, all because of you and these stupid mercenaries. Oh, of course you will. That's exactly the kind of... Wait. Did you say you'd help us? Really? You will help us out? I... I don't know what to say. Now that's something. Shut up, Herman. Yes, darling. Well, I suppose it's the least you could do after the mess you mercenaries made in any. It's nice to know you're not completely incapable of doing the right thing. Come along, Herman. Let's get a move on. You're the boss. Let's move. We're on it. Hey! Uh, any chance you know how to hack a satellite TV? No matter what I try, some channels are always scrambled. Please help. There is nothing to do here but sit in the mud and watch the news. It's depressing. Oh, I know what kind of channels are always scrambled. You naughty boy. We can use this. Oh, this one looks kind of... exciting. Come with me, everyone! Hello there! Oh, wow. You did it? All the porn channels, all the time. I'm going to be up for days. Now that you've fixed the encryption, I can finally see what is going on, and who is doing who and with what. You have made this camp a much more enjoyable place to stay. Heading out. Come with me, everyone! Presently in attendance. Not a job for just anyone, but it might help some folks out. Yeah, okay. No, no, no more food rations unless you bring something valuable. Ah, oh, no. Mon Dieu, you again? I'm sorry, boss. I wasn't talking to you. I, I mean, I didn't know it was you. I, I didn't expect to see you here. <laughs> what a nice surprise. <laughs> ah, these are Maman Lilian's girls. I wonder if she remembers me from last time I was there. I should go pay her a visit. Make sure you bring protection. And I'm not just talking about the 9mm kind. On the other hand, better not. My kidneys are allergic to heavy boots. Not a big deal, boss. Not at all. Some of my friends are kind enough to deliver food supplies to the camp. And I'm just helping the people get fair trade for their valuables. Well, boss, a refugee doesn't always mean a poor person. They've escaped with their money or Papa's gold watch or Grandma's diamond ring. Anything valuable that could be carried. They surely can afford to pay a fair price for their food, huh? I'm just helping the poor refugees to put food on their table. I barely make any profit at all. You naughty boy. I know exactly what you're doing here. So stop sweating and tell me the details. I won't bite. I promise. No, no, boss. I'm just helping those people. I swear. Without me and my smuggler friends, they would have nothing to eat at all. Valuables or not. But what's in it for me? Okay. Okay, okay, boss. You are determined to ruin poor old Bastien with this community service you are forcing him to do. All right, I'll do it. Just let me live. Hello there. Presently in attendance. 
We move with certainty. Let's check for supplies. We're on it, Chief. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Call an ass. We will do. Excusez-moi, excusez-moi. You come from outside the camp, right? Have you seen my sister Claudette? The legende took her somewhere north of here. Wow. This task has taken all my strength. I wonder how heroes in books have coped with this. Oh, this is worth investigating. Let's move. We have agreement. Enemy soldier. Looks like he is just doing his job at the moment. They'll never see me. Which is kind of a shame, frankly. Sometimes it's more Don't fun when me. you have to try to be I'll quiet. I'll stab you like this one here. The poor asshole deserved it. He got himself killed by a little girl for fuck's sake. I'm big enough to kill you. Stay. Stay away. You bought a knife to a gunfight. Girly. No, no. Don't shoot her. Damn. I thought she was hot before. But now she really turns me. Yeah, she has some real fire in her. It's warming me up. Stay away, or, or you'll get a knife in your ugly faces. I think I can do this one from behind. Hey, shoot them! Shut up, bitch! We'll deal with you later. Hopefully, I can do this quick and clean. They'll never see me, which is kind of a shame, frankly. You just like watching me walk. With some... Thank you for intervening. I... I would not have been able to fight both of them off by myself. Now I should get back to my brother in the refugee camp. He must be worried sick about me. Please, come see us if you are ever nearby. Just make sure you don't stop on the way home to take any candy from strangers. Trust me. The candy is a lie. We hear you, Chief. We're on it, Chief. Live wire here. We should take a closer look at this. Presently in attendance. Let's get a move on. No sweat. I'm here, Chief. What's the plan? Let's get moving. I will give this task all the love it deserves. would not be a problem to me, and I will be honored to do it. We have agreement. I can use this. So Thank you for saving my sister. When I heard she actually fought the marauders with a knife, my heart sank. But luckily you were there to tip the scales in her favor. Thank you once again. I had no chance without you. You keep that knife. The next asshole who tries to grab you is gonna lose a finger. Or maybe some other pieces. Now that we are together, we can leave this hellhole and start a new life somewhere. Yes. I've been thinking I could join the militia. I hope we'll see each other again. 
Farewell. Yes. Hey, you. Are you Americans? Do you speak American? Finally, someone who speaks American. I was supposed to go to Morocco. This is not Morocco. This is one of those shithole countries. I've been trying to leave, but someone stole my purse. It has my passport, my nail polish, my hand sanitizer, everything. I'm sure one of those people took it. I demand that you help me. Are you the manager of this camp, or do I need to speak to your supervisor? Let's move. was about time. Why is it so hard to find good service these days? I suppose you want some kind of reward. Typical, you people. Heading out. Let's get moving. You're the boss. Now that you fixed the encryption, I can finally see what is going on. Well do. It is always good to learn more and become better. 